Being that I was the last unified undisputed champion, probably about 25 to 40 years ago, I don't know how long it was. Last night we had a very fantastic fight. A fight that I thought could have gone either way, uh, but you know, what happens, happens. However it goes, nobody won nor lost the fight by four points. So that's ridiculous, which is why I say we need an immediate rematch. Both guys did a lot to change. Uh, but a BF showed me more than he's ever shown me before about being a boxer. He actually can box, and I was surprised. Uh, B-Ball was a very good defender, which we knew. Uh, he was a good counterpuncher, which we knew. Uh, he jumped out to the early lead, I thought, but, you know, we never know. But however it comes down, Peter Biff did finish the fight strong or stronger. So that's why I think, in my point of view, the fight should be a draw. And let's get a rematch. You hear me? Yes. By the head in the building. <laughs> And those are the words of y'all must have forgot Roy Jones Jr. He said it the way he says it, and nobody can say it the way he does. I can try, but I can't do it like him. <laughs> but anyway, I'll say that and try in another video. But no, counterpunching Roy Jones Jr.'s um, take on things, um, I respect that. That seems very, very unbiased. Um, he was impressed, and I was impressed as well with Better BF's boxing ability. See, people thought that Better BF, again, um, they thought that he was just a bruiser, a brawler, a guy that really, you know, makes a lot of, uh, takes a lot of risk, but, you know, um, leaves himself open to get countered, and they thought, okay, well, he has to win, or he damn near has just a puncher's chance to beat Bivol versus, you know, the actual skill that Better BF has, and I told you guys before the fight it's going to be a lot different than people think it's going to be. So, yes, I was impressed. Now, was I really, really surprised? No, but I was impressed because, you know, Better BF and Bivol's skill set are not, it's not like this to this. It's more like this to this. You know what I mean? So, uh, that's what you saw in reflection of the fight, that Better BF can box as well as bang and, you know, and throw those things. So, I, I think that's what that was about. Now, Moving forward, um, Better BF did, you know, he seems like he wanted to uh, win the fight more to me. He showed, hey, I want this more than Bivol. Bivol kept doing the same thing, you know, and I think he felt he secured a lead. You never want to do that. And the best example I can give you guys, like I did the night of the fight, is Oscar De La Hoya versus Felix Trinidad. Oscar De La Hoya showed he was the better boxer. He showed that he could do this. And he showed it a lot better than Bibble did, honestly. But he tried to coast the championship rounds and he lost. Okay. And that's a lesson for him. He should have went for the KO. He should have did what he did against Fernando Vargas and uh, Miguel Angel Gonzalez and Julio Cesar Chavez one and two and, you know, uh, Arturo Gotti and, you know, a lot of these guys in fights where he just went for the gusto and tried to take these guys out and he didn't do that with Trinidad and the way he fought cost him the fight. Okay. Whereas Bivol, Bivol's not a knockout artist, but at the same time, you know, Bivol tried. I think he tried a lot harder. And I think that's what made the fight exciting. But I do agree with uh, Roy Jones, that scorecard, eight rounds to four, was off the chain. It was off the chain. But remember something, people. Even if a fight is close, doesn't mean that judge, you know, it's a big difference. See, between 10 and nine, like, okay, this guy won 10, you know, and then nine. 10 and nine is, are, are very thin at times, especially if it's close. He might have thought that better be if won that round slightly by eight rounds. Not a big margin. But see, what we see is we see, you know, win, 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 or 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. We don't see the guy or the judges factor. Man, Bibble did good, but I still think better be if did enough to win. But that was impressive. Let's give it to better be it. You know what I mean? So there is a decision making in putting that one and that zero versus that nine, you know, on each other's uh, scorecard. So uh, I think people need to understand that as well in this case, because, you know, uh, Bivol, I think when he won those rounds that they had him, OK, he win. He won this round. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, I do agree. It is a draw. You guys know I had it a draw. So me and Roy Jones, y'all must have forgot, are thinking the same way. And it just shows you the back and forth of what we think 
who won this fight. So a lot of people are saying draw now versus, you know, win or lose or definitely robbery. No, it was not a robbery. You can't have a close fight and a robbery at the same time. That's an oxymoron. You guys, again, tell me what you think about Roy Jones Jr.'s take on things. Please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace!